January 20th, 2017. So here we are in the 21st century. Grab a seat, my friend. If you're feeling fresh and somewhat adventury, we'll strive to meet the trend. We'll learn, that is, just what to do so as not to appear out of place. We'll learn to dis to descry, we'll learn to construe the manner, the style, the pace of our good Lord Century 21. A new millennium, my friend, a whole new race to run, and no reason at all to feel glum. For they fashion this new alternative life they call the Internet. If the real one's filled with angst and strife, or involves a bit too much sweat, just shelve your cares and fix your eyes on the nearest available screen. If you like, you can even sever ties with that world of blue and green. You'll abandon for just a while, that's to say, our humdrum planet Earth. And you'll leave that frenetic human fray, that mother who gave you birth. Many folks have already done it. You can tell by the vacant stares of pilgrims who have set out upon it, abandoning their affairs, their bills, their jobs, and their diapered kids to the happenstance of neglect. Yes, their vacant stares and their drooping lids and their loss of self-respect, as they revert to phases infantile and grunt with simple syntax, spreading out on their infinite tile and scrawling with amor and pax their tabula rasa of love and peace and passive aggressiveness that will not pause or simply cease. Let's watch as they make a mess of this. Today's the day, in fact, my friends, that they're bringing on a disaster. The fate of this new world now depends on a fiend of orange plaster. Within minutes, their president-elect will at last be president. He's earned their deepest disrespect, but to him that's no impediment. For he hears exactly what he wants to hear. It rolls around his head, gelling into notions that aren't clear, which he tweets so they'll be read by millions of folks who cast their vote on the loudest dubious bet. How dismal to watch them dote on this trashiest piece of hubris yet. A colossal surprise this whole election, and who knows what it bodes. But hush, it's time for the orange erection, straight from Madame Tussauds. Make way for the ugliest American, this puling hollow pin. He ain't no good Samaritan. Don't nurse or otherwise coddle him. This crowd is quite a menagerie of credulity mixed with fear. He appears to be as surprised as we as to how he's even here. This isn't a place for those, my friend, who do not like the smell of it. This may be how a world will end, to paraphrase T.S. Eliot. A small crowd's here to clap at all the empty promises veiled in fog. Three hours and already the capitals, a dank and miasmic bog. Though he's said that his reputation will hang on draining out that swamp, his world will end with a bang, not with a bang, but instead with a whimpering trump.